Okay guys, so here I am breaking down the actual recipe for the onion juice that I got from Green Beauty's channel. And so I have two cloves of garlic, I have one whole onion, and I also have cayenne pepper. And don't mind my broken finger now, I'm going to go get it fixed. And it's not focusing like that, but this is cayenne pepper. And you, I have a half a teaspoon thing here, it's going to be one complete teaspoon. I have my knife. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this part on both sides. I'm going to peel off the skin off. And I might take off like one or two layers. But you want to keep the layers on there for those added benefits and things like that. You don't want to like take every single last layer off and then you won't have an onion. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel these babies and I'm going to cut it and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. So this is the onions and the garlic once it's chopped up and I'm letting it sit for like a good five minutes so it can release the, can't even think of what she said right now, but yeah, whatever that stuff is, I'll make sure I put it across the screen. Once it releases all that good stuff, then yeah, I can put it in my heart. Okay guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure out or if you are if you just had like that you already know that you need a cup and a half. What is that? Yeah, so you're gonna need one cup and a half of water, pour it in to your pot, and then you're gonna take your onion and your garlic that you chopped up. You're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And make sure that your water, okay? Because I know some people out here don't give a damn. So once you get all your stuff in there, then you're going to go ahead and turn your palette on. Bring it up to a boil. So yeah, bring it up to a boil. And before it starts bubbling, like once you see it start bubbling a little bit, then you want to turn it off because you don't want to destroy the nutrients and stuff like that. You just want to give it a nice little boil so the stuff can come out. And I use Trader Joe's Mountain Spring Water. Nothing too fancy. But definitely nothing from the sink, y'all. Don't use no sink water in your hair. At least for this process. I know when you got to wash your hair out and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But you know and once it's finished boiling out, I'll be back to show you how to do the cayenne and blase blase. Okay, so once you see that the water is boiling up like this, this is when you want to kind of mix it up a little bit and then cut it off because you don't want it to burn out too much. And then we're going to go ahead and put this cayenne pepper in. So this is like what you want to kind of do. You want to make sure you strain out your onion and your garlic into like a little bowl or something it's like blurred up wow so my screen is getting fogged up but you pretty much get the point and then after it finish after you finish letting it you know cool down let it cool down for like a good 20 about 15 20 minutes once it cools down then you're gonna put the teaspoon of cayenne pepper in there and then you're going to put it in your hair so I will show you when I'm putting the cayenne in there. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this in my hair. Um, the thing finally cooled down, so I could go ahead and add the cayenne pepper in there. So yeah, this is like the stats in my hair. It's like it's thick now, but it needs some more room to grow up here on the front, where postpartum shedding pretty much destroyed my hair. Um, but yeah. I hear Tripoli in the background. Hey, hey, hey. Honey, I'm doing my video. Okay, guys. So here I am about to dump the half a teaspoon of the cayenne pepper in here. And I'm hoping that's what it is. I ain't really measured that much, but you just mix it in there, mix it all lit. Make sure it's not too hot to put in your hair because you don't want this stuff to burn your scalp. 
So give it a good mix, 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 mix. And I'm gonna pour it into here. And then I'm gonna pour it into guys so i'm about to go ahead and don't mind me looking crazy right now okay mm. don't mind me looking a little cray cray right now um i separated my hair in these little buns i know i told you my hair got cut shorter so that's why it looks shorter but um yeah i try to divide my hair anywhere between four to six sections and i go ahead my hair is so dead like oh detangle i need to I mean so tangle i need to detangle it but I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit in here. Um, my hair got so much thicker too, guys. My hair is really, really thick right now. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this onion juice in here. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and put this onion juice in here, guys. And we are going to let it sit in our hair. I'm gonna show you how I do one section, and then after that, we are gonna. Do, I'm gonna do the other ones, and I'll be back in a flash. So the onion juice is inside of here. I have a lot left, so I'm gonna probably freeze the rest of it. What should we do? Make sure you get my scalp and stuff in there. Can you help us? What's going on? Look, Make sure you have something around your neck because this stuff will get everywhere. Yes, this is definitely a job for a grown-up. Here, nope. It's up there nice and tight now. I touch that desk. I gotta wash my hands. Let's see if the birds go back to their home. Oh, it's so cool. Get the ends of your hair. Now, again. You're all in your scalp. Make sure that can hit your scalp. And then take your hands and massage that in there. And I also pre poo the night before. Well, not the night before, but just not too long ago. I put oils and stuff in my hair. I advise you to do it the night before. It can sit in your scalp longer. Yeah, I do that. I'm going to go over it one more time. And then I move on to the next section. Okay, so this is what the this is what your hair should look like. I have 4 feet hair, of course, so this is what my little curls look like. Like, yeah, it was a texture, probably more crinkly than that. And then, and just move on to the next section. I like to put, like, a little rubber band on mine. First, give yourself a nice little massage. Make sure you put the rubber band over it so you, you know which section that you've done. Don't get it confused. And then you go on to the next section. So I'm going to do the rest of my sections, and then I'll be back to show you, you know, what I do next. All right, guys, so when you're done, you should probably have this. Your hair should be looking like these, so crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put my little purple bonnet on my head, my little purple wrap. Hold on. Okay, so I got my little purple wrap, hair wrap thingies on my head. <laughs> All right, so this is what you're gonna look like. Let that onion juice and the oils, whatever, cook up in here, cook up in the kitchen for about an hour to two hours. I'm probably going to leave for about two hours. And I'm going to go cook some stuff because I love to cook. I love to eat. So the girl about to eat. <laughs> no. But yeah, this is, what you, this is what you should do when you're done. Um, you can might turn the heat over like a low setting if you want, but I just like to let my cook while I'm cooking for real. So I'll be back. 
Well, after I rinse it out and everything, and gym.